and your friends if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i appreciate too much your love and your support may god bless you but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe youtube automatically is going to turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be the first one to be notified so please do that <laughs> so guys in our today's video we are going to be having a story time i'm very very excited we are going to the pearl of africa uganda and you guys know that uganda is my second home my late mom was a ugandan yeah so i have very strong ties <laughs> with uganda so our today's love story will be about a ugandan lady by the name of sandra she is 30 years old and found love on online dating site after two years of trying, facing lots of challenges, disappointments, but eventually found love. Another thing that is so good for you guys to know about Sandra is that when she joined online dating sites, online dating apps, was in the UAE working there. So my dear beautiful ladies, who are in the UAE, you know, working there as maids or maybe working there in the offices, but you are from Uganda or any other African country or any other country in the world, you are going to relate a lot. But not only those working in the UAE are going to benefit from this love story. No, guys, if you are a single lady out there, you have been on online dating apps and sites searching for love. If you have clicked on this video, trust me, you are going to learn a lot. When you watch this video till the end, you are going to leave this channel with your eyes wide open, <laughs> energized, inspired. Yes, without forgetting, we are going to be enjoying so much because it is such a beautiful, romantic love story. And without wasting much of your time, guys, let us jump into this beautiful love story. So dear friends, Sandra's love story is starting from her past love relationship experience because I asked her to tell us a bit of her past love relationship experience so that we get to learn from it. Pick one or two tips from it and get to know where Sandra came from before joining online dating apps. So my question to her was, Sandra, have you ever dated a Ugandan guy? in the past and if yes how did it go so sandra responded like bella my past love relationship experience wasn't good yes i dated ugandan guys actually i had two failed relationships before joining online dating sites and then started with the first relationship how everything went and that's where i am going to be starting from so dear friends, Sandra tells us her first serious relationship started when she was in her late 20s. Found this cute Ugandan guy, they started dating, all was going really good between them, they were crazily in love with each other and Sandra was at peace that finally I have found a good guy, a guy who truly loves me. But tells us at that same time did not have a job, had searched for jobs in Uganda but couldn't find any. So found a connection to go work in the UAE and had to break the news to the boyfriend. When she broke the news to the boyfriend, he did not take it badly, not at all, was like, Sandra, I support you. If you want to go and work there, yes, you go. And I have a plan already. <laughs> so when you go, you send me the money so that I can open a business here. And the business that the boyfriend proposed was he is going to open a place where he will be showing movies, and football to people and they get to pay him so sandra was like that's a very good idea fine 
and yeah, eventually Sandra traveled to the UAE. Tells us her first three month salary sent the whole of it to the boyfriend so that he can open that business. It's like, Bella, I did not send that money to my mother or eat that money because it was my first salary. No, I sent the whole of it to him so he was like fine and then later sent her the photos was like i've opened the business everything is fine sandra was happy knowing that i am working after my contract is done i'm going to go back to uganda because we have a business already me and my boyfriend so dear friends the relationship continued between sandra and the ugandan boyfriend all was going super good and this guy could update sandra on how the business is going he could tell her the business is booming you know all is fine sandra was happy and couldn't wait you know for her contract to end so that she can go back home so as they kept on going sandra asked this guy can you please send me the photos again of the business you know so that i get to see everything like how everything is going in the picture that is when the problem started because sandra's boyfriend started getting upset telling her you know i'm very busy here monitoring the business you treat me like a kid as if i've never seen money in my life why do you need photos you know brought lots lots of excuses and never sent her those photos oh my god she was super disappointed I was like why is he acting like that but at the same time couldn't do anything because was very far away from uganda so waited until one year that is when she went back to uganda and when she went back to uganda met the boyfriend they talked but she came to discover that there was no business that guy only took her money and that's it she even got disappointed the more because the truth was right there in front of her eyes that no business was there this guy played you but as you know guys love sometimes love blinds us okay and I always say this whenever I talk about our brothers in Africa <laughs> I know you people must be so angry at me but most I'm not saying all black men are bad all African men are bad but most African men are so good in telling lies a color can be blue but these people can convince you and you reach an extent of believing that it is red whereby the color is blue they are so good at lying and manipulating so that's what happened to sandra she got manipulated by this guy he ate her sweat her money <laughs> but still couldn't end that relationship continued dating him and then had to return back to the uae so when she returned back to the uae had to think about it very well because now she was far away from him and could reason <laughs> could think beyond her nose <laughs> that is when she decided to cut him off but tells us it wasn't easy at all got depressed because he was everything to her they could talk every single day didn't have friends in the uae anyone to talk to so the boyfriend to disappoint her that much to play her that much and to reach an extent of leaving him oh my god really broke her heart but told herself i have to move on so kept herself busy with work and sometimes could watch youtube whenever she could get some free time so guys sandra's life kept on moving forward she kept on working and at that time was organizing her life again because that ugandan guy had disorganized her life completely and she said could spend some free time on youtube so as she was watching youtube one day came across this youtube channel of a ugandan guy who was talking about getting jobs in the uae 
and all that like helping people and Cassandra had wanted to change jobs had wanted to go and work in the office and that's the reason she decided to consult that ugandan guy privately talked to him the guy was like oh it's okay you know the company that i came with because that guy yes was a youtuber but also working in the uae so told her the company that i came with here is such a good company it is up to you to choose the kind of job you want whether you want to work in the house you know maybe as a housemaid whether you want to work in the office that guy was working as a security man in the uae at night yeah so they talked and developed some kind of friendship as time kept on going remember sandra was single and ready to mingle so that youtuber the ugandan guy showed interest towards sandra like wanted to date her liked her <laughs> so they talked and sandra was like why not and that's how everything started her second relationship guys we are still on her past love relationship experience yeah so they started dating all was super and started talking about meeting so guys when they talked about meeting the ugandan guy told sandra i am soon going back home you know to uganda and sandra too told him me too my contract is almost reaching to an end i'm soon going back Home. so the guy was like fine then we can meet in uganda get to talk about you know you changing the job and also get to talk about us sandra was like that's good great so they kept on communicating you know dating in a long distance <laughs> though they were all in the uae but never met in the uae Cassandra tells us, you know, when you're working there, you don't have free time like to go out, meet friends, hang out, <laughs> nothing like that. So yeah, time came that Ugandan guy went back to Uganda. She tells us went a week before Sandra goes back and time came for Sandra to go back home. She went back home, organized a meeting, met that Ugandan guy, that YouTuber. <laughs> he was such a cute guy and they were happy to meet each other. Sandra tells us, you know, now they are lovers. So... <laughs> They had to go do the test, check their health, and after that, enjoy the goodies. <laughs> yeah, so it went well, and this Ugandan guy took Sandra to introduce her to his family. Everyone was happy in his family, introduced her very, very well, and also that guy was planning to go see Sandra's family so that was really a serious relationship according to sandra so dear friends the relationship continued and remember sandra going back home it's not that it was the end wanted to remain in uganda and that's it no sandra wanted to change jobs from working as a housemaid in the uae to the office in the uae and that boyfriend had promised her that the company he works with is so good and is going to help her find a job of her dream so when she met the boyfriend in uganda they also talked about that he kept his promise guys took sandra to that company and they talked to get some information sandra got the information and how much is needed to be paid for her to get that job in the uae all was in order but suddenly the boyfriend changed her plans started giving her an idea to go work in canada was like i know these people who will help you find a job in canada why can't you apply instead of going to the uae sandra was so happy was so excited and oh my god <laughs> i've always dreamt of finding a job in a country like canada you know <laughs> yeah your girl was there jumping full of joy <laughs> the whole idea of going to canada so the boyfriend took her to those people who used to help other ugandans to go to Canada, get work visa and work in Canada. So when they met those people, they told them how much is needed to be paid and everything, 
all the steps. That is when Sandra started preparing for everything that is needed, paid the whole money that she was asked to pay so that she can get the visa, go to Canada. And the job, yeah. So they kept on their relationship. The boyfriend was still in Uganda and Sandra was still waiting for her visa to go to Canada. She waited and waited and waited, guys. In the end, came to find out that they were scammers. They scammed her money. And the boyfriend told her, didn't know that those people were scammers, unfortunately. So guys, after Sandra finding out those people were scammers, she was super frustrated because paid lots, lots of money. All her life was there, guys. This is so, so sad. I know another lady who also went through the same thing. She was so excited, even told me, Bella, I've got the visa to go to Canada and resigned her job in the UAE. Went back to Uganda, arriving in Uganda, had to go, you know, to collect her visa so that she can go work in Canada. That is when she found out, God scammed. Oh my God. I was so sorry about that and I'm still sorry for her. So Sandra went through that and the boyfriend was not even in a position to help her out. But luckily has an aunt who works at the parliament in Uganda told her, Sandra, open the case. We are going to take these people to court until they give you back your money. So that's what happened. Sandra took them to court and eventually got a bit of her money not the whole of it but at least got a part of her money did not lose the whole amount so after that happening the boyfriend told her for me i advise you now to go back to the uae because you staying there these people might hunt you they might look for you and harm you so better go away so helped her connected her to another lady, did her visa within one month, got her visa, went to the UAE to search for the job. So Sandra tells us the relationship continued. That incident of being scammed money did not take it on the boyfriend because the boyfriend was there for her, you know, could help her. Even her going back to the UAE, he supported, even topped, up on the money that was needed for her to pay so that she can get the visa. So arriving in the UAE had to stay in a sort of a hostel whereby she could pay daily, sleep there, then during the day search for a job. And the boyfriend could support her financially. Pay the hostel, also give her the money for the upkeep yeah so all was good the guy was super supportive and their relationship was going really great the guy too had returned back to the uae so both of them were in the uae and they were like okay let's just work here for another two years and then after the two years we go back home start a family so guys in the course of their relationship the ugandan guy got a vacation to uganda also had started a new business with these new people that sandra didn't know and he was getting an abnormal profit so that was another reason to why this guy had to go back to uganda told sandra everything even sandra tells us when the guy was there in uganda she sent her the money so that he can buy her a plot and it's true the boyfriend bought that land for sandra so they kept on communicating but as days kept on going that guy still in uganda things started changing the guy started acting weird telling sandra oh i'm so busy you know with this new business of mine i have no time to talk to you and excuses 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 sandra was there asking herself what is happening even talked to her friends and his friends everyone was telling sandra you are in the uae the guy is in uganda you never know what he is doing there but sandra kept on hoping that oh maybe i'm overthinking <laughs> and all that kept on pushing wanting their relationship 
to continue. Even some of her friends back in Uganda that knew about their relationship wrote to Sandra. They were like, Sandra, have you checked his Facebook lately? Sandra was like, no. They told her, go and check. We suspect this guy has a woman. Yeah, and you need to find out the truth. So Sandra was like, I can't believe what you guys are telling me. They told her it's the truth, but you need to find out yourself. And that's when Sandra remembered when they used to talk with that boyfriend, whenever he could send the voice notes, she could hear a voice of a lady in the background. And when she could ask the guy, the guy could deny. I told you, these people can lie. <laughs> Even if it is something you're seeing, they will still tell you it's not what you think. It's not what you see. <laughs> yeah, so Sandra was there frustrated and did not know what to do. It's not that the guy blocked her. No, they kept on communicating, but the guy kept on telling her he's so busy and tells us he started earning crazy money, started meeting with rich, rich people. Sandra was like, it seems like maybe he met a lady that he thought was to his standards at that time. Maybe I was no longer his level because now he's rich, has got money and decided to just dump me. The friends kept on telling Sandra, move on with your life. Stop thinking about that guy. It wasn't easy, but couldn't block the guy because still had her land deed. Remember, she sent her the money for him to buy her the land. So I was like, I will not block him until I go back to Uganda when he gives me my land agreement that is when i'm going to block him and all is done so decided to keep herself busy with work kept on watching you know youtube and also going to facebook <laughs> and one time was on facebook then came across this facebook page whereby they said they connect black african women two white guys when sandra saw that was super excited and felt like a relief that wow at least <laughs> there is a solution <laughs> someone can connect me to a white guy and i get to date a white guy forget about these black african men who have only broke my heart so had to contact the admin of that facebook account and the admin was like send me your photos so that i can show the photos to single guys that i have all over the world <laughs> sandra did as that lady asked her sent her cute cute photos and also a bit of an introduction and after sending her photos oh my goodness that lady started sending her the videos of these white guys cute cute guys telling her they like her so much and introducing themselves like i am a single dad of two i live in miami others i live in spain others i live in london <laughs> That lady could send her lots of videos of these cute, cute guys financially stable, interested in her, but told her, you have to pay. And the fee was 1.2 million Ugandan shillings. So Sandra was like, okay, I am going to send you half of that. If I send that half, will you connect me to these guys at least you know i start talking to them the lady was like yes i will give you the contacts of some guys send a half so sandra had to send six hundred thousand ugandan shillings to that lady on facebook after sending that money the lady was like no sandra you have to pay the whole amount so that i can connect you to these single guys sandra was like but you told me to pay half the lady was like no you have to pay the whole of it sandra had no option paid the full amount 1.2 million ugandan shillings and after sending that money the lady went quiet never even said i've received the money or anything so sandra was there asking herself what is happening why is she quiet 
had to look for a lady again and ask her, did you receive the money? The lady was like, yes, I've received the money. Okay, send me the guys, you know, the contacts of these guys. That is when that lady on Facebook that was connecting people, showing her, you know, the testimonies of people that she has connected, their own love, got married, <laughs> went quiet on Sandra. Sandra could write to her, but nothing, guys. Nothing until Sandra gave up on that money, sadly. So, guys, I had to take a pause and talk about this connection of a thing. If you have been following me here, you know I've talked about connections and I told you if someone is going to connect you to a white guy, it can't be these people that are asking you money, huge amount of money to connect to you. When you hear that, just know that these people are just taking advantage of your situation. Connections can happen. Maybe you have a friend is in Europe, is not into even, you know, on this social media kind of a thing, <laughs> trying to advertise white guys, nothing like that. But maybe in her circle in Europe has a friend who is single and is searching for a black woman. That way, yes, you can be connected. But I'm not telling you to go and start telling your friends, connect me, connect me, connect me, because your friend, yes, can be in Europe, but doesn't have any single guy. Because these white guys, they don't just trust anyone, you know? <laughs> I've been dealing with guys too. I told you that I coach men too, of all colors, black guys, white guys, but at least I have got enough experience with these people. These days, online dating sites and apps are everywhere. So if a white guy is single and want to search for a woman in his circle or in his country, you know, he can't find any woman, what he is going to do, he will go to the dating sites to search for a woman. That is why I've said this, that on online dating sites, apps, there is potential. You have higher chances to find love there. So with Sandra too, from this experience, she is telling you guys that at the time she met that lady on Facebook, did not have an idea that dating sites, dating apps existed. That is why fell into her trap. But after finding out about dating sites, was like, oh my God, I wish I knew. And being on the dating sites apps, it's like, you know, going for fishing. So advises you guys that go for fishing. And when you go for fishing, you know, while fishing, you can come across a small fish. So if it is small, just put it back <laughs> and keep on fishing until you get the bigger fish. I hope you understand her meaning because while on the dating sites, you meet people who are players, time wasters. So what you do, you take them back to the lake <laughs> and keep on fishing until you find that guy that has everything you ever wanted in a man it is possible because <laughs> those people who say they are connecting they are connecting first of all they just take random people you know steal people's phone numbers it even happened if you follow me on instagram with the lady who came to complain to me they scammed her and even responded rudely to her after taking her money that i'm not surprised you are 52 and still single can you imagine how people can be really, really cruel? So she was like, if those people can go and fish, then bring guys to you. <laughs> Why can't you take the situation at hand and go fish for yourself? Because eventually you will find that big fish. <laughs> yeah, that's her advice. So guys, let's keep on with the story. So friends, when Sandra was scammed money on Facebook, her life continued. She kept on working and also kept on watching YouTube videos whenever had a free time. So started watching interracial couples videos on YouTube. Then one day, YouTube suggested one of my videos. <laughs> I was talking about online dating apps and dating sites to try. That is when she came to find out that 
online dating sites and apps existed. Wow. So after watching that video, what she did went and had to put everything that I said in that video into practice. Tried and tried and tried, it was not working out. So the other time I posted a video on YouTube when I was like, guys, if you are in the UAE, and I think maybe I got lots of comments, <laughs> DMs on Instagram, ladies complaining, those in the UAE that cannot access the dating sites and apps that I shared. That is why I had to do another video and I told you guys that if you are in the UAE, you need to use VPN. So Sandra watched that video too. And after watching that video, she had to put again into practice what I said. Downloaded VPN and then downloaded those dating sites and apps started searching yeah that is how it worked i was so happy when she told me about it because sometimes guys i say things and i don't know if you guys take them seriously <laughs> so me hearing that someone followed my tips someone followed what i said and eventually we are here to tell a success story it makes me so proud of myself and i thank god i can't stop thanking god and i know if you're here watching this and maybe you work in the uae when i posted that video you were here watching it and maybe you were even on my premiere because at that time i used to premiere the videos <laughs> like bella how comes i'm still single <laughs> I watched that video <laughs> where is that Sandra has found love and I am still here struggling. Guys, it wasn't easy too for Sandra and we are going to get to know that in a bit. So friends, Sandra tells us when she downloaded dating sites, dating apps and then started chatting with different guys all around the world, it really helped her so much to forget the Ugandan boyfriend that had broke her heart. Yes, it kept her very busy, tells us could chat with guys and days could keep on moving very, very fast. Eventually, it helped her to heal, forgot completely the Ugandan guy. That is another good thing about online dating. If you take it lightly, like I advised you guys, don't put pressure on yourself. Just have fun and pray. Do the right thing. Eventually, you will find the right guy. So for those who have never tried online dating and maybe you feel very, very lonely, try online dating. <laughs> Get to talk to people. People, <laughs> you will see but again i repeat do it for fun stop pressurizing yourself wait for god's time yeah so friends sandra kept on with her search and kept on chatting with different guys but came this big challenge you know <laughs> in her search most guys could want to see sandra on a video call but due to the nature of her job sandra couldn't do a video call tells us some could want to talk at night but she couldn't talk at night because used to sleep with her boss could work for this lady who was handcuffed so she was supposed to be with that lady most of the times and also wasn't so active on the dating sites due to her job couldn't give her enough time to be on the sites so just to that small time that she could have that's when could log in onto the sites and apps it was really really difficult for her but did not give up kept on searching like that then came across this dutch guy who seemed very interested in sandra and sandra gave him the chance so they started chatting but the problem came whereby the guy only wanted to chat at night and no calling only chat late night and because sandra was watching my videos her eyes were wide open had to tell that guy no i can't keep on the relationship with you until you voice call me i get to hear your voice and not only that i need to have a freedom 
of writing to you any time of the day. I was like, no, I can chat only at night. Sandra ended it and kept on with her search. So guys, Sandra tells us, joined online dating sites and apps in 2020. Kept on searching and searching, working. Eventually, her contract came to an end. So Sandra had to go back to Uganda. All the money that she earned in the UAE had to open a beauty shop. So was really busy with her business. A lot was going on. Didn't have even enough time again to be on the dating sites. Actually, Sandra had reached a point whereby it was like, no, for now I need to concentrate only on my business. See how this business will go. I am going to delete all dating sites that I have been on. <laughs> yeah, so that day that she wanted to delete that dating site on her phone logged in and saw that the last time she logged in, it was two weeks ago, <laughs> there was a message from a Polish guy, a very long message, a guy introducing himself, telling her he is divorced, <laughs> he has got two kids and also said, I see you are not online. When you come back online, this is my WhatsApp number. Let's connect there. When she read that message, I was like, hmm, this guy might be serious. Let me give him a chance. So took the number and wrote him on WhatsApp. He responded right away. They started chatting. The guy was super, super open with Sandra, sent the photos of his kids to Sandra, his photos. Oh my God. Everything was flowing between them. Sandra was super, super happy. So they kept on talking. He officially asked her to be his girlfriend. She accepted. Oh my God, all was super <laughs> between Sandra and this Polish guy. Another thing you need to know about this Polish guy. Yes, he is Polish, but works in the netherlands so guys sandra tells us they had chatted three months and then her birthday was approaching that is when the polish guy sent her 200 euros as a birthday gift oh my god sandra was really impressed and was like he is really caring and very very generous because he has never met me in real life never asked me for my nude pictures or any online sex like the losers how they tell you <laughs> i'm looking for someone you know to have a virtual sex <laughs> virtual masturbation those are the stupid weird things they always talk about but the polish guy told sandra you will never hear anything like that from me because i know if you are mine I will see that when we meet physically. <laughs> there is no need for me to ask you such kind of pictures. So him sending her all that money just as a birthday gift was like, this guy is different from other guys that I have been meeting <laughs> on these dating sites and apps. Because at that time she had met lots, lots of and serious guys <laughs> yeah and i told you guys when you see a guy is willing to spend on you to spend for you <laughs> just know that he cares and he might be serious so what you need to do not only take that one factor that yeah he's spoiling me sending me money and gifts he is the one no keep observing other things if all are tick 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 your boxes are ticking 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 then the guy is the one because i've seen guys you chat they tell you they're so much in love with you they even bring talks you know you say no don't bring sex talks they keep bringing those sex talks but you keep tolerating them because you are hoping maybe it will work out then it's your birthday these people even forget to wish you a happy birthday just that happy birthday message they don't send it but still tell you they love you no 
don't believe them please please or they talk with you and every time they complain about money 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 <laughs> when it comes to spend on you they don't want to spend even a coin or they start telling you let's divide half half <laughs> dear sis run from guys like that <laughs> so guys when sandra started chatting with that polish guy it was in 2022 and because everything was going super good of course sandra had to tell the polish guy about you know our african culture the bride price afro cinema <laughs> yeah when this guy heard about the bride price he freaked out was like what this is not in my culture no why do people do that you know i don't have to buy you <laughs> sandra was like it's not that you are buying me it is just part of our tradition you have to pay the bride price so that you can marry me he seemed like later to understand and asked sandra so if i am to pay the bride price how much am i supposed to pay that is when sandra told him and he was like okay no problem so dear friends when the polish guy responded to sandra that it's okay about the bride price sandra had to go and talk to her mother that there is this polish guy and he wants to come get married to me the mother was happy and told her okay we are waiting for him so sandra was there happy over the moon imagining how their wedding will be but wait for it guys so when they talked that day they slept and in the morning sandra to wake up she was blocked everywhere by that polish guy and with this sandra tells you all that while you are on these dating apps and sites searching for the right guy pray 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 and pray yeah because what happened to her left her shocked so after being blocked by that polish guy whereby everything was going smoothly a day before left her shocked frustrated and couldn't even eat or sleep well all day long could sit there think what could have happened ask herself lots of questions like why am i this unlucky the time i thought i found the one then this guy blocks me so dear friends it was a very difficult moment for sandra you know to start from zero and told herself before i start from zero let me first delete his photos and our chats so that you know she can try you know the healing process so deleted all their chats and their photos but never blocked him and i've been telling you my dear beautiful ladies don't rush to block a guy maybe if he disrespects you or maybe you come to find out he is not a serious guy and maybe you come to me you tell me the story about the guy then i tell you block in that case block but you're chatting with the guy all is fine then all of a sudden he blocks you don't go ahead and be like i'm blocking you too <laughs> tit for tat is a fair game <laughs> don't do that please please take time and see if he comes back then listen to what was the reason for him to block you i think we learned something today from sandra's love story or sandra's experience so yes guys sandra kept on with her life concentrating on her business and you can't believe it guys one day the polish guy and blocks her and writes to her apologizing and apologizing sandra please give me the second chance i know you are the one because even the time i met you on that dating site i decided to delete the dating site and had told sandra to delete the dating site too but sandra never deleted the dating site followed my advice where i said don't jump to delete the dating site immediately <laughs> 
yeah so she was still on the dating site but when the polish guy returned was like i never went back there because i know you are the one i'll never disappear again i'll never block you some things happened that is why i blocked you but now i am back for good and i know that or i imagine some of you that are watching this video <laughs> Hearing all this Afro cinema, you are like Bella, those were Sandra's village people. <laughs> After her, that is why the Polish guy blocked her for no reason. But no, guys, they were not Sandra's village people because later he explained and was like, talk to his friends in the Netherlands, and the friends were like, be careful with these online dating girls, they are going to scam you so he had to think of what the friends told and decided to block her but guys for me what i believe if you are a good woman you will always stand out he will notice the difference okay even if he leaves you blocks you and maybe gives it a chance with another woman whether in his country you will still stand out. And that is what happened. Sandra stood out. He saw the difference. He was like, no, I'm not going to listen to my friends. I cannot lose this Ugandan lady. That is why he returned, guys. So always be a good woman. Display all your good qualities as a woman <laughs> so yeah sandra gave him a chance and this time he was like sandra i am coming to get married to you <laughs> yeah organize everything talk to your family tell your mom and that's what sandra did first talk to her mom though her mom wasn't all that happy of what he did in the past but <laughs> had to forgive him as long as the daughter is happy she is happy too so after talking to the mom she talked to the dad and when the dad got to know the news they were all happy and the wedding preparations started so he started sending her the money you know little by little and Sandra tells us at first yes she had told the parents and all that but mm, was kind of there like I hope he does not disappear but when he sent a half of the money to do the wedding to Sandra that is when she believed him a hundred percent that he was going to Uganda to get married so the wedding preparations continued tells us faced lots of challenges while preparing for her wedding some things were not moving like she expected but tells us could pray and also thanks god that the polish guy is a prayerful man yeah so they always pray together <laughs> like tell me you wish today i am going to pray and all that kind of things so prayers really helped sandra and the boyfriend for things to work out yeah and another thing guys when he returned back he made the introduction introduced sandra to his sister introduced sandra to his son his relatives his friends <laughs> and i think those are the same same friends <laughs> that had told him be careful of online dating girls <laughs> they're going to scam you yeah but he introduced her to them because they are part of his life and they were happy to see sandra because they got to know that she is a good woman and their friend is happy with sandra <laughs> yeah so he introduced sandra to everyone close to him sandra was super super happy about that so the wedding preparations continued and time for him to travel go to uganda arrived so he traveled with his sister because his sister wanted to attend the wedding and when he arrived at the airport sandra was there waiting for him when they saw each other oh my god sandra had to run jumped you know hugged him they kissed each other and cried 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 a lot <laughs> they were so happy to an extent they couldn't control the tears could just fall <laughs> yeah it was such a wonderful moment 
and then after the hugs after crying <laughs> that is when sandra had to also hug the sister-in-law <laughs> they were happy to meet the sister-in-law was happy and after that they headed to the hotel where they had booked you guys that enjoys the goodies <laughs> no they did not share the goodies on their first night they had to wait till they get married that is what they agreed on so dear friend, Sandra's boyfriend arrived in Uganda on 22nd March 2024. And on 25th March 2024, Sandra tells us he asked her to go out on a dinner date and went with her sister. So on that dinner date, that is when he proposed. <laughs> yeah, Sandra was super, super happy and of course said yes. So after proposing, the next day had to go and meet Sandra's family. Oh my God, they were so happy, welcomed him very, very well, brought lots, lots of gifts, <laughs> and also brought a very big doll for Sandra's sister's daughter, little daughter, because Sandra's boyfriend liked that little girl so, so much, could talk to her when they were still in a long distance relationship. So when they met, they really connected and the little girl was so happy, you know, to receive that gift, that big doll. <laughs> yeah. And just like planned, on that visit, he paid the bride price. So there was a bride price ceremony, the Kwanjula party. <laughs> yeah, all went super good. They looked super cute. I'm going to be sharing the photos here so that you can see them. Oh my God, love is beautiful. And what makes me more happier, it's because I know this lady's journey from the start god is good so dear friends after the kwanjula party comes the big day <laughs> the wedding day and they did a civil wedding guys omg the wedding was so beautiful she looked super beautiful even her husband looked super cute i don't need to talk a lot i'm going to put a video clip here of their wedding and share more photos of their wedding so that you guys get to enjoy and believe that one day it will be you so you shouldn't give up at all at all online dating apps sites works
I hope you enjoyed that wedding video. Congratulations to you, Sandra, and your beloved husband. Guys, let us wish them all the best in their marriage. So, you want to know the name of the dating site where Sandra found the one, the husband. <laughs> she found him on our famous, famous dating site called Afro Introductions. Yes, I know most of you have been on Afro Introductions for so long and you are not succeeding. When you hear Afro Introductions, you're like, no, it's not for me. <laughs> but so far, guys, I cannot lie to you. It has been the best. If I am to count the success stories from Afro Introductions, it is number one on top, 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 top. Yeah, so keep giving it a try. You can, yes, delete it now, you know, concentrate on others, but after come back, don't ever abandon Afro Introductions for good. Keep trying, girl, I've got your back. <laughs> so friends, after the wedding, moved her into a new apartment yeah and tells us he is also supporting her business a lot investing money there i'm telling you we keep on observing the difference between a serious guy and a guy who is playing games if you remember the first guy that dated sandra could only take money from her could take advantage of her and some of these guys are very very clever they are with you because they know they will get something from you at the end of the day not add something to you but take something from you and that's what sandra's first boyfriend did or was yeah and who knows if she didn't stop that relationship where she could be now so if you see a relationship will not work if you feel like someone is taking advantage of you there is no need for you to keep holding on to that relationship better leave at first yes i'm not promising you that it's gonna be easy it can't be easy because you loved that person you love that person very much but if loving him doesn't give you the peace of mind if loving him hurts you makes you cry makes you lose girl better leave that relationship but we see sandra's husband is supportive is not taking away <laughs> anything from her but adding to what she has already which is very very good it is a very good thing to find in a partner are you confused a bit like Bella? What is their next plan? She is in Uganda. What happens? We are worried. <laughs> Guys, don't get worried because Sandra has started already her visa process so that she can go reunite with her husband in the Netherlands. And after her arriving in the Netherlands, he is going to take her to Poland so that he meet his relatives in Poland too. So guys, again, let us wish her all the best on her visa process so that she can go reunite with her husband and get to live there happily ever after. Because you know, the visa process is not easy. But we pray that Sandra does not come across any challenge on her visa process. She applies and... First application, gets her visa, get to travel. Yeah, praying for you, girl. One more thing before I end this video. Sandra was not paying on Afro introductions. Followed my advice of not paying on any dating site or app. But Sandra's husband was paying. So we have reached to an end of our today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video till now actually i had not planned even to do a video today because i'm not feeling all that good i think you have noticed <laughs> yeah but yesterday i received a dm on my instagram someone is like bella i wish you could upload four videos in a week <laughs> And I was like, oh my goodness, I have to get to work and I'm here. <laughs> so friends, if you have watched to this point, 
Thank you so much for watching. May God bless you for your love, your support, everything that you do for me, guys. I appreciate much. I don't take it for granted. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. You're going to learn a lot. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah!